so you want to avoid getting your insulation right up where you're going to solder so you want a little gap hopefully you can see that a little gap right there and then we'll move down I'm going to tuck one of these underneath just to kind of hold it there and I'm going to solder this one first and get it where I want it and then I'll go back and I'll solder this one and then pull this one back up run across and then leave um, about a quarter inch to an eighth inch hanging over um, and solder it and then trim it off Okay. This is where we want to heat the work and then apply the solder to the work, not the iron. If you apply it directly to the iron and try to blob it on there, it will just blob on and it won't create a real solder joint. But you need to form, you need to be able to transfer heat from the iron into your work. So what you do is you put a little bit of solder, solder on the iron and start to heat your work and then add a little bit there and it'll bridge, it's called a solder bridge and that'll transfer that heat Okay. Looks something like that. And you just want to continue on, go through all of them and do that. Okay, it should look something like that. Cell negative comes in. Drain, 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 and drain. And this will surface loop back up. Go in there, and then I'll roll that over to there. Okay. R12. I've got two wires here. Here's my negative. So I'm going to wrap that. Just like that. Now It's, I decided to go with the minimum on this one, uh, four inches. So it's four inches from here, where I wrap on my cell negative, to here. So you can go between four and five inches. Um, my last one was about five inches.
Okay, so we want to wrap at the 4 inch mark, leaving just a little bit of space. Not like that. And then you want to solder this into position. On the bridge and heat your work. You can just see the solder just flowing. Make sure you get both sides of that. Make sure you see solder all over your sense wire on both sides of your R12. And what we've just created is a shunt. I'll measure the voltage drop from here to here and feed that into the PWM circuit and that will sense the current. It's toasty. Okay, so now with that curve, basically the way it's shaped there, I'm going to feed it down through here. like that. Something like that. 